Hello guys and welcome back to Unity Dev Tutorials. This is Yamu Sharma and in today's video we will be going through basic concept, a very simple and a basic concept of Unity that is changing the color of a cube or a sphere or a game object with the defined color you want. So let's get started. I will recommend you to go through my videos and like and subscribe my channel so that you won't miss any of the tuto tutorial video which I am making here so let's get started first of all I will show you these things which I've already created I have created a plane and I have created a sphere on that sphere I have attached a rigid body and if you don't know how to make this plane and sphere Go to game object, 3D object. Here you can see plane and a sphere. And if you don't know how to attach rigid body to the sphere, go to add component, physics, and here you go with the rigid body. So these are the basic setup which I have made, and I'll just play it and tell you. When I play the video, you see that this ball is falling or the sphere is falling on the plane. So, why is it this happening? This is happening because of the rigid body. We have checked use gravity. So, whenever we hit play here, the object will move down. That is, gravity is acting on that sphere. And if I uncheck it, Gravity will fall on this. You see the difference? Now, what is our basic concept of this video? Is we are going to change the color of that sphere. And let's check use gravity. Yeah, change the color of the sphere with the help of any button or a key press. So let's get started. I've already made a script for this, but I'll make another script so that you will be able to get it very clear. Create a C sharp script and I will name it as color color. Double click to open it. While naming the C sharp file, you should be very clear that the name of the file and the class should be same because it is very case sensitive we don't require this task to delete it out so we yeah, will this out here and on update what are we going to do is what we actually want to do like here we have sphere but what we are actually doing is we are changing the color the color means we are changing the material. Okay. We are changing the material to the desired color. So what we will be doing here is we will be accessing this color material in the script. So we will do it with the help of a key. So if I say import uh, get key down and key code code is uh, suppose R uh, yeah uh, we will take it for red so let's see so we'll take get component And in this get component, we'll be taking renderer. Yeah, we'll be taking renderer. We'll be taking renderer. So let's write renderer. And in that renderer, we'll be taking material. There you go, material. And the color of that material. Which is equals to color dot uh, 
Render color which is equal to red. And it is not getting red. Wait, um, dot material dot color, which is color dot. It should take red. Sometimes it makes it, it poses a problem. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So we need to change the name of the script. Let's do that. Let's do that. And here we go. So what we need to do is we need to reopen it. And let's make it one. So, and let's let's do that. Right. Okay. So why this was happening? Because we have class name same with that of this color, which is a predefined. So let's check it out, and then we will change it to multiple colors. So. Okay, and nothing will happen because I haven't attached a script to it. So I already have one script attached to it. I just remove it and attach the new script which we have made right now. Color C was the script which I have attached. Remove that and let's take color one, attach it. Yeah. Now when I hit play, here you can see that. When I press a key R, the color of the sphere changes. And it won't change to another color because we haven't defined it in our script. So let's do that. But you you've got the basic idea of how the changing of color with the help of C sharp script can be done. So what we'll do is we'll just copy paste this to C to copy and again control D to paste it. Let's change the keyboard to uh to G and then we'll be using green for this. Let's do the green. Again control C. Control D to paste it, we'll change it to blue, the alphabet B and then the color code should be blue. Save it and hit play. Yeah. Now, when I press R, color changed, G, color changed, B, color changed. So, this is how basic material changes in, with the help of a C sharp script. If you want this color code to be changed with the help of collision, so in that you just have to feed this data to your on collision get component or uh, on collision dot trigger whatever you're using. That time you have just have to put this line of a code in that. So this was the basic tutorial about changing. The material of a game object. In the next tutorial, we'll deal with some very interesting facts about Unity and uh, C sharp scripting. So, till then, see you soon. And yeah, don't forget to uh, like my videos and share it.